Hey, Bello Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I have 28 big money bolos coming your way. I am your featured reseller. These items sold for $35 or more. Um, looks like one item sold for 150. So I've got some good stuff here and we are gonna get started. All right. And these items were cross-posted to Poshmark and Mercari and they sold faster on eBay, which, you know, that's typical. eBay is like my number one for sure. But I'll tell you what, when those Mercari and Poshmark sales start flowing in, I am so thankful for List Perfectly because I love cross-posting with List Perfectly. If you guys haven't checked that out, definitely check it out. I do have some videos on it. All right, the first item is this Barbie. It's a... <laughs> A $38. I sold it for $38 and the buyer paid shipping. She is the special edition Barbie and the box is damaged, but um, I still sold it for $38. I picked it up at a garage sale. It was a bulk buy of a bunch of Barbies. I paid like four bucks for it. I'm trying to see where the damage on the box is. I can't find it. Anyway, moving on. Let's go to the next one. The next item I sold are these little Bratz dolls. I sold these for $65 and the buyer paid shipping. Um, so somebody messaged me and they're like, I just want the clothes. And I'm like, like off the dolls. I'm like, and she was offering me the full asking price for just the clothes. And I'm like, I'm going to take the clothes off and then I'm going to sell the dolls. You know, like I'll do that. I'll create a new listing. And then I started trying to take the clothes off the dolls and I'm like, forget it. I'm not doing it. This is awful. <laughs> Those dolls are so hard to dress. So I just sold the whole thing for $65. It was not worth it. Sorry, you have to take it all for $65. Buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold came out of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay jewelry pickup. Amazing. 344 pounds of jewelry. Definitely go check out those videos. Um, I sold this one for $44 and the buyer paid shipping. It's a large defense and intelligence agency pin badge. The next item I sold is this Dan D animated Halloween duck singing plush. This came from a garage sale. Or no, I'm sorry. I think, I think this was a thrift store. I think it was in, I think I did a video on this. It was a thrift haul. And there was this big bag of plush and um, like a like the, like a comforter would come in it and it had a bunch of plush in it. I think this was in there. I could be wrong. But anyway, I, I probably had less than a dollar in it because I bought it in a bundle of stuff. And I sold this for $39.60 and the buyer paid shipping. Anything animated like this, I typically pick up. It usually has a pretty good return. The next item is amazing. Okay, so I'm at a garage sale. And I see this South Park snow globe and I'm like, okay, I, five bucks, I'm going to get that. And I looked it up and I could not believe the comps. And then I saw that it was like an employee gift and only 250 were made. And it even has this like little foggy spot. Can you guys see it? So it probably was in the box and it was laying against it or laying on its side. And you know how the bubble on the top? Anyway. I still sold it for $132 and the buyer paid shipping. So that is a major bolo. You're probably not going to find it because there were only 250 made, but definitely look things up like this. Sometimes you're just like shockingly surprised. So definitely a bolo. The next item I sold is this talking newborn Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. He came from a garage sale. I bought the whole table um, of Christmas stuff. And I'm going to tell you like, it was like a table full of bolos. I don't remember what I paid for it. I didn't realize the items were going to be such great bolos, but I have made so much money off that table. It was really a good buy. So you guys kind of like branch out, you know, try things that if you can get it for the right price, you just never know. You might get home and have a bolo. This sold for $44. The buyer paid shipping. I'm going to say I had a dollar or two in this. The next item is this Mattel Barbie working it out doll with the cassette. She sold for $39 and 60 cents and the buyer paid shipping. She was four bucks at that same garage sale where I got all the Barbies. The next item is this Longenberger kitchen crock. I picked this up at a garage sale for $2. Um, the buyer paid shipping on this. I took a best offer of 40. So it's a sage green color. I pick up Longenberger pottery 
if I can get it cheap. Um, I don't buy baskets. I, I don't know if there's a market for that or not, but I do pretty well with the pottery. The next item I sold is this, uh, I think it's Upco because it's got the little circle on the back, but it doesn't say Upco. So I wasn't sure. So I just put a little question mark and somebody who collects Upco is going to know. But I have sold some um, pumpkins like these. And this is a ceramic ghost with the cutout face. And I think you like put a candle in it. And uh, this came in a mystery box and I sold this for $38 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this, uh, I think it's pronounced Simigol, 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 the Lord of Rings movie. He's an action figure. The box was damaged. I picked this up at a garage sale for $2 and I sold it for $80 in the buyer paid shipping. So it's new old stock damaged box. The next item my husband picked up at a garage sale for $5. And he's like, I remember you telling me about these. And I'm like, okay, of course he gets one that's brand new and sealed for $5. And he took a best offer of $100. I would have held out for $150 because you just can't find these sealed and brand new. But he's like, I paid $5 for it. He's like, take the offer. I'm like, okay. So he sold it for 100 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, I picked this up at a thrift store for 10 bucks and I probably could have got 150 for it. So here I am like telling my husband, wait for 150. And I have this listed at 200 and somebody offered me a hundred and I took it. <laughs> I was like, I paid 10 for it. Like they're offering me a hundred, just take it. But um, I put a YouTube video of how it worked down in the description of the video right here. And if you guys go to my YouTube channel, you can, um, I have a video that shows you how to do this. But um, this video had a bunch of views. So it's obviously like a hard to find popular item. Um, so I took a best offer of $100. I believe it went to Canada, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong, but I was thinking it was an international sale. So the buyer did pay the shipping and I sold it for $100. The next item I sold is this Balmain Paris Parfum. <laughs> Et de Parfum <laughs> from France. And I sold this for $150 and the buyer paid shipping. I think this one came from a thrift store. I pick up... Uh, perfume and stuff like that. I like selling it bread and butter. I like the big money ones. I'll take whatever. I just like selling perfume. It's kind of like toys. I like selling toys. You find those things that, you know, make you happy and you just sell them. Um, and it changes from time to time, you know, like sometimes I'm in the mood to do like toys. Sometimes it's clothing hardly ever anymore. Anyway, sometimes I like doing Barbie stuff like this item. This is a Tressy doll outfit. I sold this for $49.99. It came in a bulk buy of Barbie stuff that I picked up, I think at a thrift store. And yeah, this was a good one. And the buyer paid shipping on that. So it's this executive sweet jacket and skirt. The next item I sold, this one was very, 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 very long tail. I did pay $5 for it at a garage sale. I thought it was going to sell faster. It did sell and it sold for $44 and the buyer paid the shipping. So I did have a good return, but I did have to wait on the right buyer. The next item was a retail arbitrage item. And I have another one listed. If anybody wants to come take it off my hands and buy it up, please. My link's down below to all of my stores. You can find it there. Uh, the other one I have, I think has more of a cream look to it. Uh, I picked this up at a discount store. I can't remember what I paid for it. I want to say like 20 or 30 bucks. I paid up for it because it retails for 248 and I took a best offer of $65 and the buyer paid shipping. It's a great watch. It's really big. Um, you can see right here. It's a big watch, but, uh, so I made my money back. I made a little money, but I've had it a long time and I, I want to move the other one. So if anyone's interested, please feel free to send me an offer. The next item I sold is this Universal Studios Monsters of the Mummy toy. This was a garage sale find. I picked it up for around two bucks and I sold it for $70.40 in the buyer paid shipping. So you guys, new old stock toys, definitely almost always a win, either bread and butter or big money. The next item is this large jumbo Scooby-Doo that I picked up at a garage sale for 50 cents. Yep, 50 cents. And I sold it for $80 and the buyer paid shipping and he sold fast. The next item came from my I got it free garage sale video. Um, so I went to a garage sale. It was the end of the garage sale. It was right after quarantine. 
and you know everybody was kind of still staying in and it was close to my neighborhood you know i put on my mask and they were closing up and they're like you can just have whatever you want we're getting ready to move just take it all and i'm like okay so i filled my vehicle full and this was one of the items i sold this for fifty dollars and the buyer paid shipping if you want to see what else i got go check out that video it's on my youtube search um i think it says got it free or something like that and i guess i'm guessing i'll probably make between 500 and a thousand dollars off of that free stuff it was just an amazing amazing it was good luck <laughs> it was good luck on that one because um I wasn't even like really, I wasn't going to garage sales. So somebody called me and said, hey, there's a garage sale. And I'm like, eh, I don't know. And then I was like, I'll check it out. I can social distance, wear my mask. Everything was fine. Um, but yeah, awesome. The next item, whoops. I don't know why that's there. Okay, the next item is this Spirit Halloween Techie Toys Floating Monster Crazy Light Up Face Ghost mystery box fine guys i was pretty excited about this one i can't I, I don't remember i think i did a video i think i have a video of this mystery box when i opened it up and i was like "Ooh, this looks cool and i ended up selling this for a hundred dollars and the buyer paid shipping the next item i sold is this mcfarlane the walking dead rick grimes figure and came from the gr a garage sale where I got all those new old stock toys. I paid three bucks for it and it sold for $37 in the buyer paid shipping. This Mylar ribbon, I don't remember where I got it. I don't remember what I paid for it. It wasn't much. Um, I sold this for $45 in the buyer paid shipping. It did take a while to sell. It was a little bit long tail, but um, definitely, definitely a bolo. Okay, this new wave. Huh, I'm missing an item that's on my sheet. Maybe that was what that happened with that one. Okay, so this, or I'll find it on another video. I have so many tabs pulled up. This new wave, I picked up at a garage sale for $5, you guys. Five bucks. I looked up comps and I'm like, why is this $5? They're like, oh, we got it at our wedding. We never used it. I just want to get rid of it. I'm like, I'll take that off your hands for $5. New, old stock, never been used. I don't even know if it's considered old stock. I sold that for $85 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Cleveland Browns uh, snap, st I'm sorry, it's a strap back hat. It is vintage. Um, sorry, I'm sitting on my floor, so I have better reception and it's really uncomfortable. Um, 50 cents at a garage sale. And I sold it for best offer of $50 and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item I sold is this Clarisonic facial cleansing set. I paid up for this, <clears throat> excuse me. I got it at a thrift store, it was $18. I thought it was all there and I got home and it wasn't. So I was a little bit bummed about that because I probably could have got 100 to 125, I think. So I took, um, I sold it for 85. So 18 into 85, that's still good, but I was hoping for more. So um, anyway, all right, the next item. The next item is this dollhouse. And I picked this up at a garage sale for $10 and I sold it for $50 and the buyer paid the shipping. And there's actually two items that did not pull up in my tabs. I don't know what I did wrong. They disappeared. So one of them was a clock my husband sold and one of them was a nativity. Hmm. So I apologize. There were only actually 26 bolos in this video. So whoopsie. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And there's gonna be some videos popping up here, 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 here and subscribe here. Um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Share this video with your friends, anybody that you know that's a reseller that might like to learn. Um, that's a great way to learn. Throw this on while you're working and just learn away. That's why I started the channel to learn. So basically as I learn, I'm helping everyone else learn. So uh, List Perfectly should be popping up. Definitely check that video out if you haven't, if you um, are only selling on what plat one platform. 
I say branch out because there's different buyers on different platforms and I've been really successful with Poshmark and Mercari. Um, that's really where I put the work in to those two platforms. And of course, that's where I'm selling more. eBay is my number one. So if you're not selling on eBay, oh my goodness, definitely get on eBay. Um, I dabble in Etsy. I've actually had quite a few sales this week on Etsy more than normal. <laughs> I only have about 150, 200, something like that. Uh, items on Etsy. And then I've got a handful on Grailed and I just started Facebook. So I don't know, Mercari, Poshmark and eBay are my main three. But uh, if you want to try list perfectly, you can use coupon code Bolo Buddies. That's a referral coupon code that'll get you 30% off your first month. So check it out. Let me know if you have questions down in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a great night. Oh, and if you made it this far, comment, I made it to the end of the video. <laughs>